If you've been building websites for a while, you may have heard of clamp for sizing fonts. This is a specific technique for sizing your fonts that creates a smooth transition from a minimum font size to a maximum font size without seeing it jump at the different breakpoints you normally do in a traditional setup. As a designer, it's amazing to me that clamp font sizing is not the standard because it's such a better practice and looks so much better. Definitely something that I utilize on all of my current websites I build and recommend you do the same. So today I'm gonna to show you exactly what it means and how to set it up for your website. All right, so on my starter site, I have a style guide and on this style guide it lays out the different headings and styles for uh, my website. And so these are set up globally and this has clamps font sizing enabled and set up for it already. So I just want to show you as I start to decrease this browser window, you're gonna notice that the headings slowly but surely get smaller, but they transition and scale at a smooth rate rather than jumping to a certain pixel size at a specific viewport. And so again, as you see, as I grow this window larger, the text gets larger on its own. And so this is the beauty of clamp. Uh, you know, it, it creates the maximum and the minimum and every viewport width in between that scales it accordingly to the window size. So now in a traditional setup here on my demo page, you'll notice that I have set up a desktop font size, a tablet font size, and a mobile font size. And as I begin to now scale this window, you'll see it'll go from desktop to tablet. Do you see that? It jumped down to tablet size and then again for mobile. So you see jump to tablet and jump to desktop. And so really there's only three font sizes that this copy is changing for. Um, whereas in clamp there's sort of infinite amount of font sizes because it's scaling across every single different viewport with without jumping at specific breakpoint. All right, so you might be wondering, that's awesome, how do I use it? That's what I'm here to show you today and explain a little bit behind how this works. So when you jump into your customizer in Generate Press and go to your topography panel, you'll notice in traditional setup, you'll have headings set up here where you enable the element, uh, H1, the family, the font weight, the font size, uh, and toggle at each viewport breakpoint for desktop, tablet, and mobile, and change that font size accordingly. But with Clamp, we do not want to do that. All right, so what we need to do instead of setting up exact values for our font sizes at each breakpoint, is go ahead and determine the clamp value for these and replace it directly here in the customizer. Now the clamp tool that I always use to create my values is this little cheat sheet calculator um, from markbacon.com. It's a clamp function calculator. And so let's walk through some of this. When you see now at the top, you can choose between pixels or rems. Um, and you'll see it helps you understand what a rim is. So pixels, 16 pixels is equal to one rim. And so as you determine your values, um, you can try to work with rim a little bit easier that way by doing the math. So one rim, 16, maximum two and three quarter is about 40 pixels roughly, I think, 44. Um, so you kind of have to do the math on the fly or you're welcome to go ahead and input these values in pixels and then convert it to rims after. So what you want to do is choose the smallest point size that you want your font to appear on the smallest screen and then the biggest you want your font size to appear on the biggest screen. 
So since we're determining our H1 heading, we want this to be pretty big. So at minimum, I want this to be 48 pixels or three rem. And at maximum, I want this to be about 54 pixels or 3.375 rem. And so what this is telling us is that at 600 pixel width screen or smaller, it's never going to get less than three rems. And at 1440 pixel viewport width or larger, it's never going to get bigger than 3.375 rems. So you can go ahead then and copy this first line of your clamp, come to your customizer and delete out the 54 that I have in here and paste in your clamp size. Now you're going to want to go ahead and insert this on all three breakpoints just so that it does not get overridden by the previous values that you had in there originally. Now we can go ahead and do the same for our H2s. We want our H2 to be no bigger, or excuse me, no smaller than uh, let's say 2.25 rem and no bigger than 2.75. So now we can go ahead and copy that clamp value, come over to our H2 in our topography panel, and replace these values with our new clamp. Perfect. So now we can go ahead and publish that, exit out, and let's start to see as we scale our page how our font on our H1 and H2 which this is our H1, this is our H2. See how these begin to scale responsibly in more fluid, smooth way instead of these harsh breakpoints getting larger and smaller. Now keep in mind, you can also within Generate Blocks, insert clamp sizes within the topography settings on a headline specifically. However, for global consistency, overall design, I always recommend you do this within your theme so that it sets it site wide and not in a per headline basis. Now that you have a better understanding of what clamp is and how to set it up for your own topography, you'll be able to realize the advantages of utilizing clamp. There's really no way we can target every single viewpoint width and set a font size for it and that's why clamp exists. I'll go ahead and leave a link to that clamp calculator in the comments. Thanks so much for your support and we'll see you again soon.